or longer. My wife and I have a, a motor coach, and every winter, mice would get into the darn motor coach and do what they do, and it drove me crazy. As a collector of, of automobiles, I've had thousands of dollars worth of wiring and upholstery ruined because of mice. I had tried everything. I was always looking for the new and improved. What's well, kind of funny, sometimes new and improved doesn't work. So we'll go back 100 years ago to when our grandparents would keep mice out of their homes by using the natural essences of things like cinnamon mm -hmm. and peppermint. Right. This is called Grandpa Gus's mouse repellent. You get four burlap pouches that have the natural scents in them, and you can put these in different areas of your home, right. in the motor coach, in the car, et cetera. You then get this phenomenal eight ounce spray that you spray in areas that might be the, the front door to a mouse. That's right. And a mouse can fit into a hole the size of a dime. Yes. <laughs> they, they've got like little spongy bones. They do. Uh, this is Erica Swineford. Good morning. I want to take our viewers back to a conversation that you and I had. <laughs> it's actually, it was one of my more embarrassing moments here at QVC. <laughs> I knew this product was coming in. I was launching it. This sold out in that debut. It did, it did. So Erica was in her dressing room <laughs> and I come and I knock on the door and you can tell them what I say. Does this stuff really work? That's exactly <laughs> what I said. I go, come on, tell me, does this stuff, does it really, really work? <laughs> Standing right behind me were the two vendors who helped to create the product and bring it to QVC. Right, Grandpa and, Gus himself. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I'm standing there going, does this really work? The stuff works. It does, it does. And you know, no matter how clean our homes are, mice are inevitable because right. we have what they want. We have <laughs> food, we have warmth, and we have shelter, especially this time of year as the weather gets cooler, they're gonna be trying to find their way in. So what if instead of, you know, kind of taking care of the mice after they cause destruction and leave their kind of evidence all around, evidence if you is a good way to prevent them from ever coming in. Yep. And that's what this does by using, like you said, essential oils like peppermint and cinnamon that mice not only hate, but that also disturbs their sense of smell, which is the way they see. It's the way they navigate through your home. So that's how it works by just simple essential oils oils and you can spray it, smell it. It smells like Christmas, like my smells teenage good. daughter said. Yeah. Um, and it's just an easy way to prevent the problem before it ever becomes a problem. And it's not barbaric. Right. Uh, I've so. got dogs. I, first of all, <laughs> I love all creatures. I just love mice when they live somewhere else. Right, exactly. Okay. <laughs> we want to take I off the welcome sign from our front lawn, right? I don't want to their cute little necks. <laughs> I don't want to glue their feet to asphalt. Right. And I don't want to poison them or my household pets. This doesn't do any of the negative. Exactly. They just leave you alone. They do, and you know, this is what's available to us. So if you if you have mice, first of all, you already have the destruction, the damage, the- I live in the woods. The kind of evidence they leave behind, yep. right? Um, so you're taking care of the problem after it happens with either these sticky traps that the mice get stuck to and then you need to dispose of them. Oftentimes people say they can hear them squealing when uh. they're on here. You have poison traps, which the mice eat, but then where do they go to dive? They go behind your walls. And then they stink to high heaven. And they stink, heaven. or- the reason, By the way, the reason why- yeah, I know. That one was supposed to be for later. <laughs> the reason why poison works with, with rodents, rodents do not have the ability to vomit. So it, it kills them. But if you've ever had the smell of a dead mouse in your walls, every winter my wife and I dealt right. with it. Every single winter. Our farmhouse, we're, we're in the woods. Absolutely. I, I, I've got a Motel 6 for rodents. <laughs> right. And now this is your solution, Dan, because you take these burlap bags, you get four of these. Yeah. These are great for small areas, like your pantry, like your car, your RV, your garage, your grill. I found little turds on my grill a month ago. Yep. Put these all over those areas. Then this spray you're gonna use along your baseboards, baseboards cause that's where mice travel along. I put it along right where my garage doors meet the cement in my garage, in my recycling bins, bins my trash bins. And you can use the spray to refresh the pouches every month or so, yep. and you are good to go. I got two cats, which I gotta tell you, I've got the two laziest cats in the world. <laughs> My wife and I were sitting in the living room, this was about three months ago, it wasn't cold out. A mouse pops out of nowhere and runs along the baseboard right below where my big screen TV is, 
and both cats did this. <laughs> and just watched it. Right. Well, and they And it were disappeared. <laughs> it disappeared. And I knew the darn thing was in the wall. Right. Again, mice, they're cute. But they're cuter when they live somewhere else. Exactly. I've had them eat through ignition wires on a classic car. Mm -hmm. I've had thousands of dollars worth of upholstery that was damaged on a 1950 Chevy that I spent nine years restoring. Exactly. And they make me crazy. So not only is it the ick factor, they're gross, where a lot of us are afraid of them, we jump up on tables or chairs, but they cause destruction. They leave, you know, they can leave diseases behind, yeah. but they also cause damage and destruction. And like you said earlier, they can fit through the size of a dime. So about this size right here, they can morph and squeeze their bodies into. Um, so why not? Try Make it. your home unwelcome. <laughs> Try it. And here's what made me very, very happy. I had tried everything from gizmos you plugged into an electrical mm -hmm. outlet that didn't do anything to chemicals, to traps. At one point, there's something called a have a heart trap, yeah. <laughs> which, which captures mice but doesn't injure them. I was uber for rodents. Right. Because <laughs> every morning I was putting six traps into, the, into my pickup truck, driving about a mile away from the house and dropping the darn things off. This stuff works. I bought it when it was first here at QVC, when it sold out, one airing, it was gone. I put the four sachets in my motor coach, in the four corners of the motor coach. Right. And sprayed underneath. I haven't seen evidence of a mouse since. Isn't that great? And every single time, my wife and I, every month, would would scrub the inside of that motor right. coach because mice, how did you leave it? How, what, what delicate phrase did you say? Well, they leave their evidence their behind. Evidence. That's funny because the <laughs> mice we had pooped. Right. Okay. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And, and they and they would always poop in the silverware drawer. Yes, isn't that so ooh, I would, it's I would have to it's the worst. I would have to take virtually anything we had in drawers out. And by the way, the scent is a really positive scent for us. It is. So it's essential oil. So if you're wondering, um, if you just tuned in and you're wondering, like, what is it? Is it is it poison? Is it spray that no. they're going to? No, it's not like that at all. It's actually essential oils. It's cinnamon. It's peppermint. Mice hate cinnamon. They hate peppermint. It's kind of Who like knew? it's kind of like mace to mice, if you can think of that. Um, it gets on their noses. It burns. It disrupts their sense of smell, which is my, how mice see. If you've ever heard that expression, three blind mice, it's true because mice are pretty much blind. Yeah. They use their sense of smell to see, to navigate through your home, to find food. Um, they often travel along your baseboards. So it's they, a, all, they do always tend to kind of tuck up against Right. Something. So yep. it's a great, a great way to just get rid of them or, you know, really not even get rid of them. Prevent them from ever coming into your house. So you're basically taking that welcome sign off of your lawn yep. and, you know, sending them somewhere else. So that's what it's all about. It's preventing the problem before it starts so that you don't have to deal with the traps, with the sticky glue, with the poison. You're simply never having to see a mouse again because you use Grandpa Gus. This this spray, that eight ounce, that's 1,240 individual squirts. Yes. So it's a lot. What I'll do once a month, uh, which by the way, used to take me four hours because mm -hmm. I had to scrub everything on the inside of the coach. Right. Now, it takes me 15 seconds. I just refresh the pouches. Right, just give them a little recharge. And it smells so good. I, I always like to tell the story. The first time I used it in my garage, I sprayed along the garage doors. Right. And then my teenage daughter didn't know that I sprayed. She didn't know anything about it. And I got her, we got in the minivan to go somewhere and she was like, it smells like Christmas out oh, that's here. Funny. <laughs> and it does. It's that, it's the peppermint and the cinnamon essential oils that smell really nice to us like Christmas like my daughter said but mice can't stand it so it prevents it's, the problem from ever happening in the first place. Our great-grandparents knew this. Yeah. You know that mice have been around forever. Exactly. So we're going back <laughs> in time on this. New and improved again two most important words in American marketing. No sometimes our grandparents had a better solution. We've already had how many Jason? Over 12 over 1700 have been ordered, people are picking up more than one set. I urge you to consider doing this now because we are in a transitional period of time up here in the Northeast. It's just getting cold enough at night, it was mm -hmm. a little chilly this morning, it, yes. that mice are starting to look for warmth. Right, and food. And food. And a 
nice little cozy place to yeah. shelter over the winter. And is it going to be your car? Is it going to be your RV? Is it going to be your garage? Put the pouches in all those closed areas yeah, and they, then use the spray. Mice are the along. exact opposite of Houdini. <laughs> Houdini could get out of anything. Mice can get in. They can. Anything. You know, I was just talking to Kylie. She said she had a brand new car a few years ago. Yep. They went up into her seat and they were storing I, their food in the seat of her car. Right. I, I don't want to <laughs> complain. Uh, Yuck. Do you know what a Lotus Elise is? No. Okay. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> they they came to America a few years ago. Oh. The cutest little high-tech sports cars. And it was my dream car. And it was the mice's dream car, I'm guessing you're going to say. It, the car, the interior of the car is raw aluminum, which mouse urine absorbs into the aluminum, and you cannot get the mm. odor out. I, I had always dreamed of owning that car. I bought it. I had it for less than a year and mice destroyed yeah. it. I, I wound up selling the car at a huge loss and, and I was at war with mice from then on in. I don't want to do traps. I don't want to do poisons. This stuff works. And it smells good. I know good. it from my own experience. <laughs> yeah, it does. Try it. We give you a 30 day money back guarantee on everything. We've had 2,200 that have been ordered. Thank you for hey, bringing it back. thank you so much. That's this was such fun. good stuff. <laughs> We are, what, about eight minutes away from our today's special value. If you spill a bag of potato chips on your carpeting in the living room, you don't get a rake or a broom to clean it up. 